What is up, guys? Showing up the king here, bringing you another episode of Yu Gi Oh! King Links. <laughs> Man, it's been a week, guys. I mean, it's been deck creation and grinding and trying to make it through the rankings. And I finally got to a point where I have decided that I'm going to go ahead and stop playing around because, as you guys know, I'm known for my uh I'm known for my creative decks. You know, I, I play for fun, but it's mostly about my creative decks. But today, for some strange reason, I just realized that I need to hit that platinum. Like in this new format with these crazy decks, I needed to hit platinum just to show that I could. And so I decided to go with one of my main decks and um go through the grind of of battles and just try to stick to one deck because that's mainly my issue my issue is is that i'll play with a deck that's fun and i'll win and then i'll lose and then i'll win and i'll lose and then i'll switch it up and i'll work on another deck and i'll add that deck in so where i should be probably plat going into legendary i'm pretty much just stuck toiling in you know gold four gold five because I keep switching it up. So I take a couple of losses with my creative decks and then I'll get my main deck and I'll win a couple of just to catch back up. So today I just decided that I'm going to go ahead, hit platinum, and uh, well, you'll see from here. I want to just show a couple of uh, quick matches. Let's see. This is one of, I had two serious decks. These are my two serious decks. At first, I was playing with Weevil, uh, my Weevil Natura deck. And uh, my Weevil Natura deck is the deck that got me all the way to gold five. Because I had fell down to like gold two. And then I finally got serious. And I was like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm going to, you know, take this serious. And it got me all the way up to gold five. But then I kept going back and forth. Back. It, it, it was just a hot mess. So this is a Weevil versus Weevil match. He's using a typical Weevil burn. I'm going with Weevil Natura. And in my opinion, I've never been afraid of Weevil burn or Taya burn. I've never really had issues with those decks. They pretty much sacrifice defense for the ability to try to burn you fast. And most of the decks that I use are will, will fuck you up if given enough time. So... As you can see, I had a pretty uh, crappy hand and nothing but um, sacrifice monsters. But again, because I knew he was running Weevil Burn, it wasn't much he can do. And then all it took was me to get the pumpkin. Pumpkin into Beetle, Beetle into Hydrangea here. Smack. And then it was Cocoon. But in this particular deck, you can see what I have in my hand. Insect Princess. So I was just waiting. So then he decided to attach Gravity Axe and then a uh, Mask of the Accursed. Thinking that that was going to stop me. But oh no. You about to show me that face. Some Insect Princess. Switch that around. Show me that face. Well, then he hits the uh, security orb and tries to stop me, but you still take 19. And because of Insect Princess effect, that doesn't pop off, and you take 600 for the win. All right. Insect Princess. All right, so that was, uh, again, this was just some of the real quick matches that I had going through gold. Uh, that was a uh, Weevil versus Weevil. I also have a uh, Weevil versus Seto Kaiba. I'll show you this one. And then what ends up happening is as I'm going through the rankings, like it, and again, I'll show you guys, like it was, it was ridiculous. Like I'm sitting here and I'm like trying to concentrate. I would win one, then I would lose one, then I would win two, then I would drop two, then I would win one, then I would lose one and then I would 
And every time that I got to, to gold five, and it was the match that would get me the victory for platinum, I would get Mako. Fucking Mako. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I've beaten a Mako deck before. It's not a big deal. Let's go. And then my hand would be shit. Like, I literally would brick. Like, I was laying more bricks than a goddamn construction worker. It was ridiculous. I've actually switched my um, my deck up a little bit. I used to run uh, Amaryllis in this deck build. Uh, but just to try to make it a little bit faster and be a little bit more competitive, I took it out for another... Uh, I can't remember the name of the nature, but it's the one that looks like a dandelion. Again, I knew he was running Nature. Yeah, Marin, that's the one. So I took out Amaryllis for another Marin. And again, I knew he was running Nature. Because at this point, most Kaibas who use Beatdown are using Nature. So he had Crystal Seer, and then that's when I figured out he was using Nature as well. So then this became a Nature versus Nature who plays it better. Yeah, I don't know what he was thinking. I, I feel like he was waiting too long. Like, he had too many cards in his hand. He could have played ahead of time. So, they were the skill hits. Uh, Marin. He hits me with the mirror wall. But, again, I have so many monsters on the field. There's not much more he can do. So he survives by a thread. But because I have so many life points, I'm like, I'm not worried. Again, that's the thing about Ryoku. I'm like, you can use it as your last ditch effort, but if somebody has something in their backfield, you never use Ryoku. That's why I took it out of my deck, because it was just like, situation like this would happen. So even though he gets the stag, again, I'm prepared for it. And I destroy the stag. So literally, I dismantled him at every turn. Outplayed him. Boom, boom. And then I go in for the insect jade whistle. Just to make sure I can win. And this fool had a second mirror wall. I was like, really? And I was just waiting for that insect, insect to drop. And there you go. Alright, so that was a deck that I was mainly using that got me to uh, gold five. And then I started bricking. I started bricking. I'll show you. And by the way, if you guys don't already know, I did manage to hit platinum, as you can see up here. It's beautiful. I'm happy. But I want you guys to see the bullshit that it took me to get to platinum. You thought I was joking. So literally... It was, I would win, and then I bricked against the Mako, Then I lost against this, fuck, and then I would win two, then I dropped another one, Yoshi, that was another, so when I went, so when I lost to Mako, this was for Platinum, and I lost it, so then I dropped two, so then I was getting ready to fall back into four, and then I won two in a row. And then I was back again, ready to get platinum. And then I got another Mako, another Yoshi, and another brick hand and lost. And then I lost again. So it was, I was done. So at that point, I was like, you know what? 
wheels not working. I got another deck that I've been using off and on. It's my new Flaming Bird deck. So I jumped on the Flaming Bird deck. I made a couple of tweaks. I finally got my um, Rush Recklessly. I got my second copy of that. So I was able to put that into the deck. It worked. And then I went on two wins in a row. And then three. I basically went on three wins in a row to finally get my platinum status. And it 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 was a pain in the butt, but I, I pulled it off. So I'll show you guys the deck that uh, got me the platinum ranking. So now that I've hit platinum, I'm going to keep going to see how far I can get. But I think I will also go back to making more creative decks. Because uh, I enjoy it. My bad guys. Okay, so I don't actually have any videos of me with the new deck, so I'll just show off the deck profile. Alright, so I call it the trial bird. AKA Flaming Destiny. So uh, I got three copies of Phoenix Neftis. I got the uh, Fire King uh, Yakashi. He lets me, uh, if you pop him on the field, then it lets me pop a Phoenix in, the, in my hand, which will pop the field. It's great. Now, here's the difference between my deck and everybody else's. So this card right here, and this is actually. The card that got me my uh, platinum win right here, Red Dragon Ninja. So, not only if this card had the same attack power as uh, Phoenix Nephthys, but it can also be special summoned by Fire King Island. So essentially, it's uh, a 2400 summon if you don't have any other cards on the field. And uh, what it does is if you have any ninja monsters at all in your deck, and I run two. I run a Crimson, and then I also run an Armed, which are great for clearing out backfield and uh, field spells. If one of them are in the graveyard, when you summon him, you can choose any face down card and return it either to the top of the deck or to the bottom of the deck. And in re in, in your opponent cannot activate the cards in response to you choosing it. So what I what I did was I had Phoenix on the field. And then I had the uh, Fire King on one side, and then I, tri I, I attributed Crimson Ninja, popped his uh, left-hand side trap card, which ended up being a trap jammer, tributed him for the Red Ninja, for uh, Red Dragon Ninja, and then cause his whole back row was filled. So then I went after his far right card, which ended up being Magician Circle, returned that to the top of the deck, and all he had available was... Uh, oh, he had a um, Dark Magician, and I basically attacked it with Rush Recklessly, killed that, and then hit him for 2400 with Red Ninja, beat him, got my Platinum ranking. But again, I uh, want to know what you guys think. Uh, any tweaks on the deck that I can do? Did you like it? Did you, did you enjoy the video? If you want me to do more, I will. Don't forget to comment in the section below. Thumbs up the video, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Showing off the king. I did it.